Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and this is part 4 of the series of tutorials in which I show you how to model the famous Le Corbusier's Villa Savoie in Revit. So if you haven't seen any of the previous tutorials, I suggest you check out the description of this video so you can find the links to the previous tutorials. And now I'm just going to continue on modeling this building. So I'm first going to select this here floor that I have and I'm going to go copy to clipboard, paste, align to selected levels and I'm going to choose roof level. Go OK and as you can see we have duplicated this all the way up to the roof level and now I can go edit boundary so we can cut out this portion that we don't need. And to do so I'm just going to go here and I'm going to use pick lines command and I'm going to pick this line here of this wall, this line as well and then I'm just going to draw a line here not really going on on top of this wall I'm just going to pull it out a bit like so so it has a little bit of an overhang and now I'm just going to use the trim and extend tool so just type in TR for trim and extend and I'm going to trim this up like so so now we have this okay this needs to connect to this and now we can use just the split tool to split it here and then trim and extend to trim and extend it in place. So this is what we have. We just hit here finish and you have this. Would you like them to be attached? Would you like your walls to be attached to the bottom? You go yes. And you just delete these here two lines. Just go delete elements. And there you go. So now we have our roof. So the next thing we can do, we can model all the walls. We have over here those weird curved walls. So we're just going to go to roof level. And we can see our template image. So I'm just going to select this here. Basically this here floor. Right click, override graphics in view, go by element, go to surface transparency and just drop that to 64, go apply, OK, and now we can see our walls. So I'm just going to go in the wall command, just WA, I'm going to pick this 100 millimeter generic wall that we created and immediately here I'm going to set the constraints from base constraint to roof level and the top constraint to level top. And then I'm just going to model like this, this here, and here as well, like so. Continue on here. And now I'm just going to switch to Arc Tool. So I'm just going to go like this. And then another arc maybe here. And one more arc here. And then just switch back to the line and continue on going this way. Do this one, this one as well, and then just an arc to finish it. Okay, so we have these weird looking walls up here and let's just add this door over here. So I'm just going to go door, let's use this one, flip it to the other side and there you go, we have this door. So now I'm just going to go to 3D view to see what we have. I'm just going to go here to floor and for the constraint, for the level, I'm going to set this to top level, go apply. And then just by using pick lines or even pick walls, you can select the walls. So I'm just going to hover over this one wall, hit tab, and it kind of selected too much. Let's do this one, hit tab. Yeah, it kind of selects too much. So, okay, we can't use that. I'm just going to go with pick lines. Maybe it's for the best. So pick this one, this one, this thing, this, this, and this. And here we have the, basically the lines are over here, but that's not important. So just trim it in place and here as well. And just go finish, go yes. And there you go. Now we have this over here and you can see this wall kind of dropped down and you can fix that by editing the profile. So just go cancel and you can just use pick lines to pick this line and pick lines to pick this one 
and now just by using trim and extend you can trim and extend everything in place so now it looks a bit better okay so we have this kind of roof garden finished so let's do all the windows that it has those kind of long wide windows so let's model those as a family so to do that we need to just go here to new family and I'm just going to drop back to go to English metric and let's try to find metric window family open this up and here you have this so first I like to extend this a bit because it's going to be a long window so we kinda need a long wall to model this window on it and if we go into 3D it already has this blank basically void that's cutting the wall where our window will be and I'm just going to change the dimensions of this to basically fit our window so our window needs to be first let's do the height the height needs to be at 110 centimeters or 1100 millimeters and for the width it needs to be at 400 and or 4400 millimeters and for the default cell height it needs to be at 1000 millimeters so I'm just going to go apply okay and we have basically our window dimensions but let's add all other elements of this window so I'm just going to go to exterior view and first let's select one of these reference planes or just go to create and find reference plane or you can use the shortcut RP which I'm going to do so just type in RP and create two more reference lines like this so now once I've done that I can go and use this dimension line or I can use the shortcut DI for dimension and just create one long dimension like this that kind of catches all of these and hit EQ so that automatically makes all these distances between these reference planes equal and this is how the window will look like and now we can go into create extrusion we can use a rectangle catch this whole void make sure to lock everything in place so it moves if you change any of the dimensions then I'm going to keep this rectangle and use an offset of I don't know like 30 millimeters and do the same thing and now it's on the outside we need to flip it on the inside so just tap the spacebar and now it's on the inside and now you need to constrain it and to do so you need to use these dimensions so create one like this one like this like this and one more here and now you lock everything in place, so you select it, you lock it, select it, lock it, select it, lock it and you're done with this outside frame, so just go back to modify extrusion and hit finish and now I'm just going to go to reference level and we can't really see it, so in order to see it you need to basically cut this wall a bit higher, so I'm just going to type in VR to go into view range and here you can see the cut plane is at 1000 and our default cell height, height is at 1000 so we can see our wall our window so let's put 1200 here and go apply ok and here's our window let's just lock it here in place and lock it here in place so we have that now let's go back to exterior view and now let's add these center lines over here so go extrusion rectangle so I'm just going to create a rectangle like this lock it both up and down and now let's just set this up so you select one of these you go here make sure it's aligned to this and let's put I don't know like 15 here select the other one and now let's put this at 30 and once we have one of them so you can copy it just by typing in CO for copy copy it here again CO for copy place it here and then you can use just the align tool to align these things and lock them in place so it will change along with the parameters of this window lock it in place
yeah that and we need to constrain this width so I'm just going to go like this type in EQ and lock both of them and do the same thing for these two sides as well EQ lock both of them and the same thing here and now if I go to modify extrusion finish it go back into floor plan now we can just connect it to this side lock it in place and let's connect it to the middle and lock it in place so it's kinda a bit on the interior side so now I'm just going to go to the 3d view this is from the exterior it looks kinda nice let's just use join geometry to join these things here let's go back into exterior view so we just need to do the glass so go extrusion rectangle place it like so and make sure you lock everything in place same thing here lock everything in place here as well and on the last one as well okay now you go finish reference level and now we can move that like so over here make it small because this is glass and then you can use dimension to constrain it so you just place a dimension like this and lock it in place okay so now that's done let's just add the material so we don't have to do it afterwards so I'm just going to select that go material by category choose glass okay and for this part I'm just hitting the tab key here to select the whole thing and select these go material by category and let's let's use something black I'm just going to type in black to see and let's just use something I don't know whatever is black doesn't really matter we just need the material to look black and go load into project and now we can go back to floor level because this is where all the windows will be and go window and you can just place it right here so you place it here you select it and let's just place it in the center so just go DI for dimension you can dimension this window like this and hit EQ now you can delete this dimension it's important just that's in place here so now we can copy it so just go copy select multiple select this here grid line and you can move it here and here and here as well and here where you have this basically just the wall just move it over here so you don't get the error message okay so I'm just going to do all other walls all other windows and I'm going to speed it up, up so you don't have to look at it okay now if we go into 3d you can see all of our windows are completed but we have some windows over here as well so to do those we need to create basically just voids in this wall well except this one here we need a window so I'm just going to go back to floor level and create a window here so I'm just going to select this one go create similar and just place it over there so now to create these here holes I'm just going to go here to this view and I'm going to select the wall so you just select the wall and you go edit profile close out of that and you can just create a rectangle over here over this existing window that you have select that rectangle and let's just copy it make sure that multiple is selected and just copy it like this to grid line so we have grid line here 
here and here as well and delete this original one and go finish and now if we go into 3d it looks like this and you can do the same thing over here so just go back to floor level choose this view select the wall like that go edit profile scape just create this rectangle over here and just select it and move it from grid line to grid line go finish and there you go okay so I'm going to finish off the part 4 right here I hope this was helpful so I'm going to continue be continuing this in part 5 so make sure you subscribe for that please like this video it helps me out a lot and if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day